Hello booktube, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little bookshelf tour and um, I say quick because I don't really have that much time. Um, so I'm just going to do this really fast. It's not going to be very like up to par with everyone else who this isn't really nice, but it'll be a quick little thing, okay? This is also very much going to be in vlog form, so sorry for that, um, but let's get started. Okay, in the top right here we have three of my Bibles, and then I have the Twilight series, including the short second life of Brie Tanner. These are all my coin collection things because of my grandpa. Things from when I was a small child. Room by Emma Donahue and 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. If we go over here, we have my Game of Thrones series. I have all of them that are out. Um, the first four, which I'm reading the first one right now, the first four are in paperback. The last one is in hardcover. I have a little pinky bank. And then I have a bunch of books that were given to me. Um, Jonathan Strange and Dr. Norbell, Norbell, Norrell, whatever. I have the Dark Tower series by St um, Stephen King, and I also have Under the Dome, and I have Soul Guy. Um, those books, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to read because I'm not really that big of a fan of his, but you never know, I might just come back to it. Um, then we're going to come over here, I have... Um, my Little House on the Prairie series with my little chickadee. Um, I have a dolphin sculpture that I've had forever. I have the rest of my Little House on the Prairie series, including very, very old copies. And um, this one that has the first five novels. <laughs> I then have An Abundance of Catherine's The Fault in Our Stars, Let It Snow, um, all by John Green and others. I have If I Stay and Where She Went, and a beauty basics book. This was this is my sister's. Um, she's currently she's currently in cosmetology school, but she has books. So I was like, yeah, Caitlin, you can put them on here. And I have the selection series, not including the air, and I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna ever read that one. Then I have a little snow globe my sister made. I have the Maze Runner series box set, Narnia. Um, this is my Nook that I got a really long time ago, and it has a lot of books on here. One day I'll go through them all. Um, I have the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo trilogy, and then I have all of these um, by Dan Brown, including the Da Vinci Code that I haven't ever read before, but I plan on doing it at some point in time. And then we get to my fandom shelf. First I have the Blood of Olympus, House of Hades, Mark of Athena, Son of Neptune, and The Lost Hero by Rick um, Rowe Iden. I realize I just said those backwards, but you know what I mean. I also have the first series um, of Percy Jackson, but my friend is borrowing it. I then have The Red Pyramid, um, part of the King Chronicles. I have Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and Four, um, all part of the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. And then we get to my prized possessions, um, the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare and the Infernal Devices series. I grouped them all together because they're all great. And the Bane Chronicles. I forgot about Magnus. I'm sorry. I love you, Magnus. This little jar right here is all the books that I have read slash remember reading since 8th grade. Um, so I will be going through this at one point in my life um, on this channel. I then have The Hunger Games and Mockingjay and I have Catching Fire on my Nook. Then I have Red Queen Glass Sword and Cruel Crown hiding back here. I have not read these two yet, but I do plan on it. Um, and they're all by um, Victoria Aviard. I have my Wreck This Journal that I don't like because I don't feel comfortable harming books. Then I have my library books. I do put my library books on shelves because it makes me feel happier that I have them. <laughs> Um, I have Make Lemonade, I have Clockwork Angel, The Book Thief, my favorite, and Passenger, which is the next book I'm going to read before finishing the Game of Thrones series. I then have my Harry Potter section slash shrine slash terrible shrine. Um, let's just move this. I have Harry Potter, all the box set, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Tales of Beale and Bard, and Quidditch Through the Ages. 
And then I also have the last Harry Potter book. And here we have the rainbow shelf, which is my pride and joy, and I love it. Um, so let's just go through. A lot of these books I haven't read yet, um, and I might not, but these are just books I've been given and stuff. First off, I have No Sex in the City, which is a parody um, of Sex in the City. Then I have um, Animal Farm by George Orwell. I have Boy Crazy. I have A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lou. If I butcher any of these names, I'm so sorry. A Child Called It, which is the first of a series that I read a long time ago um, by David P. Peltzer. I have Marley and Me, oh look at the little puppy, she looks like my puppy, by John Gronin. Do Hard Things by Alex and Brett Harris, I never finished reading that. A Christmas Carol, but it's actually, let's just do this real quick, it's actually, you open it up and there's a secret compartment. Um, this is actually another thing that my sister gave me for Christmas and very happy about it, but also it hurt my heart a little bit. I have a Log Cabin Christmas collection by all of these authors down here, but I'm not going to read them all because that's just too many. I have Heidi. I have The Piano Tuner by Daniel, um, by Daniel Mason. I have The Martian by Andy, Andy Weir. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloop. I have Little Bee by Chris uh, Cleave. I have two copies of this book. One is in this color, the 10th anniversary edition, and one is over here. But it's The Kite Runner. And then I have three books of the um, the Royal Diaries. I, I've read all of the books of the Royal Diaries, um, but I have these three because I purchased them at a used bookstore. The other ones that I read, I got on the at the library. I have Ishmael by Daniel Queen, Quinn, The Secret School by AVI. I have Calico Captive by Elizabeth George Spare. The Help by Caitlin Spockett. No One Belongs Here More Than You, Stories by Miranda July. Nim's Island by Wendy Orr. Chicken Soup for This Teenage Soul by River, or Willow Run by Patricia Riley Giff. Uh, Between Sundays by uh, Karen Kingsbury, I believe. I am, there's a sticker covering her name. Faith, Hope, and Ivy June by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. Take Your Best Shot by Austin Goodwin. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Rowell. I have Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Secret Garden. The Hobbit from the Lord of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Breacher Stowe. Follow the River by James Alexander Tom given to me by my grandpa. I have another copy of The Kite Runner. I have Day After Night by Anita Damien. I have um, a college application essay writing book that I should have used, but I did not. I have Miracles and Moments of Grace by Nancy B. Kennedy. I have Boston Jane by Jennifer L. Holm. The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. Uh, my mom actually has this book. This is her book. You Have a Brain by Ben Carson. I have a Mount Rushmore Q&A. Signed copy of um, Lullaby by Amanda Hawking. I have The River Between Us. I have The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. I also have The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Safe Haven, also by Nicholas Sparks. And then I have a book from my elementary school that I thought I was in, but appears that I wasn't. I have Miracles in the ER by Robert, uh, Robert D. Leslie. Luke by Christopher Moore. Across the Wide and Lonesome Prairie, the Dear America series. 
<laughs> the little each little bird that sings by Deborah Wheel. American Quilts by Susan E. Kirby. Finding True Love by Josh McDowell and Ed Stewart. How My Journal Became a Best Seller. Um, a novel by Julia Divertis. Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Brashnies. Hiding Faces and Take Two is, um, a, I think it might be a trilogy, but I only have the first two that I read a long time ago. It's by twin girls, um, Julia and Jennifer. Okay, How to Be a High School Superstar. Another book I should have read but didn't. A Spoiled by Heather Crocs and Jessica Morgan. Soul Surfer by Bethany Hamilton. A Crown for Charlotte by Laureen Espinoza. Lincoln, based off of A Team of Rivals. The Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. The Uglies by Scott Westerfield, which book called Crap, which my mom got for me for Christmas because she said it was my personality. So that's how that goes. And then I have 1984 by George Orwell. Ugh. I then have While It Lasts by Abby Glenn's, The Twelfth Angel, and then I have Charlotte Web Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. I'm gonna finish this the rainbow. I have This Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. <laughs> I have Tom Hanks as Forrest Gump. The Unwanted, The Queen's Fool, Housekeeping by The Hate List by Jennifer Brown. Before I Fall with Gettysburg by Stephen W. Sears. Grace, Gold and Glory by Gabri Gabrielle Douglas. The Girl with the Pearl Earrings by Tracy Caliver. Gone Girl by Julian Flynn. Have I never read this? The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Sarah's Key by Tatiana De Rosary. And Beautiful Creatures, um, which I never read. But I did see the movie, and then I bought the book, but then I didn't like the book, so I never read it. <laughs> okay. I have then another piggy pink, piggy bank, and then I have a bunch of stuff. These two books down here are actually stories about me when I was um, dealing with medical thingies um, in my past. I have my college letters and I have my pins from Disneyland. I even have my happy birthday one. <laughs> I have my ears and other Disney stuff and yada yada yada. If you come over here, we have note cards and SAT slash ACT things that I need to have studied but didn't use. I also have City of Lost Souls and I do have Girl Online by Zoe, but both of those are being borrowed by a friend or by some friends. I have two coloring books. Oh, look at this coloring book is fun. It's Harry Potter Magical Creatures. Oh, and look, it's One Direction. I have a One Direction notebook right there. This basket is where I keep all of my pads and feminine products. And then if we just go down one more, we are at the bottom of the shelves. Over here I have all of my American Girl doll books. Um, if you want to take a look, those are the ones I have. I, these are kind of my junk ones. I then have my radio, a camera bag. Um, these are all different yearbooks from different things, like my middle school and my high school. I then have my One Direction dolls. Um, I'm proud to say that I, well, okay, yeah, that's dark time in my life. My dark, uh, my One Direction book, dictionaries, and then a book that I actually um, had to use for my freshman year in high school. I then have all of my journals and extra stuff, my camera case for this camera, and um, Elsa, little thingy that I got for Christmas or my birthday, I don't remember. I then have all of my little kitty books. First I have um, Tuthiana from Guardians, The Feelings Book by American Girl, 
Um, totally random. Totally. Okay. That's like another wreck this journal type thing. <laughs> tiny treats. Ooh, these are cool. These are like tiny little book apple thingies. Thingy jigs. Finding the Titanic. Care and keeping of friends. Hair. All by American Girl. This one is um, my year, the year past book. Ooh, 100 verses about Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then Head to Toe, A Guide to You. I have The Bear, Santa Claus Forgot, A Pioneer Sampler, which I read this whole thing, which is actually pretty big, when I was kind of young. So that's kind of surprising. I have A Little House Christmas, which is all the Christmas stories of the Little House on the Prairie. Um, the Little Mermaid, the original, not the original, but not the Disney one. Frontier Children, which I also read all of that. Miss Togglebottom Goes to Town, which is really a cute book that I used to read. The Gas We Pass, The Story of Farts. Pioneer Girl, A Story of Laura Ingalls Wilder. The Story of Ruby Bridges. The Atlas of the United States. Um, Aesop's Fables, which my grandma got for me a while ago, and it was kind of just really cute. I have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Disney book, A Topsy Turvy Kingdom, which I used to read all the time, Poems from Our Heart, this book I am in, um, Time for Bed, Sleepy Heads, which I love, Daisy Comes Home, another little cute book. The Littlest Matruska Doll, and I actually have these somewhere in my house. Disney's Children's Classics, which is actually, it's really, really heavy. It's kind of funny. Then we have um, Roughing It on the Oregon Trail, about a time-traveling twins. My favorite book, The Seven Silly Eaters, Smoky Night, and When the Rooster Crowed. We have Two Bear Cubs. Mrs. Franny's Hat, which is another book I used to read all the time when I was little. I have a Taylor Swift book. I have Felicity's World Night um, from the American Girl doll. Oh my, why are these all out of order? I have Kirsten's World. I have Samantha's World. And last but not least, I have the High School Musical All Access book, which is a treasure and I love. And then we come over here to my other bookshelf, which doesn't really have any books on it, but it's still a shelf. Up here I have my prom corsage and little rose thingy from last year. Um, I have necklaces, a medal for swim I did two years ago, my bracelet from Pandora that I love, this thing to hold all my jewelry, um, this holds all my little other thingies, and bobby pins, the earrings I was wearing earlier today. Uh, my tripod, all of my perfumes and everything, and then over here is all like my beauty kind of type stuff, my brushes and all that type of stuff you need. Go down here is my stash of candy and my glasses, and then behind it is all my CDs up until here. And then from here we go over and it's all of my movies that I have. And then it's my Little House on the Prairie series. This is the first three. Here are the rest of them I'm obsessed with them I know my little phone tripods um, my obsession with sticky notes apparently I didn't know I had until today the rest of my little house on the prairie things um, these are what are these called headphones my stash of headphones because I break headphones so easily um, I don't really know what's back there this is my shan or what is this sunscreen and all of the, the everything else I have and then my favorite pairs of shoes are down here at the very, very top, it is my little, I don't really, oh, that's a birdhouse type thing. Um, my Kirsten doll, who I love. I have a little painting that used to hang up above my bed, and then another little um, thingy that one of my friends made for me. And this concludes my bookshelf tour for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see. I'm always open for suggestions and I love them because they're so easy and they're so much fun to do. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Goodbye. Oh, you can still see me. Bye.